this week we are in New Orleans, Louisiana, and everything's closed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're doing a little driving tour today of New Orleans because everything's closed due to the CV, the current situation. <laughs> But well, we could not pass up the opportunity to at least drive around yeah. and see some of the sites yeah. around New Orleans. Uh, even though we can't go into a lot of places, we're still gonna drive around, we're gonna see a lot of stuff, so this video will probably be a lot of B-roll. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of outdoor open space away from people mm -hmm. or in the vehicle driving around and seeing stuff. So uh, we're at Jackson Square right now. Yeah. Beautiful place. It is very pretty yeah. out here. But um, we're gonna hang out here. We'll probably walk down Bourbon Street a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll go walk by the river, mm -hmm. hang out. I don't know what all we're gonna get into today, but it's gonna be a different type of video than you've seen from us before. But we're still gonna try to show you as much of New Orleans as we can before we have to beat it out of here. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Come on. Bourbon Street now and there's hardly anybody here <laughs> it's pretty crazy there's a little bit more than I thought but yeah we not. we've seen you know videos of Mardi Gras and I mean even during non Mardi Gras time it's pretty busy down here there's a lot yeah. of businesses down here lots of good food down here and drinks and bars and it's just closed I mean yeah. Bourbon Street's pretty much closed you can you can still go to like walk-up bars like they're roped off at the front where you can order a drink and kind of take it with you yeah or you can order some food and take it with you but you can't go in any place you can basically walk down bourbon street but we're, we'll drive down bourbon street we'll drive down the whole thing so that you can see how dead it is <laughs> and uh it's just crazy to see we it were is. looking so forward to just coming down here and hanging out yeah. we purposely made our trip during non mardi gras time so we could come down to bourbon and street enjoy and enjoy it and <laughs> hang out at a bar all day and listen to some music <laughs> without the crowds not so much we didn't want it to be this drastic yeah. <laughs> without the crowds. We wanted a few people out here, yeah. but um, I don't know. It just gives us a reason to come back to New Orleans at some point. So we're gonna go walk down Bourbon Street and then, uh, the I don't know. yeah, we'll go see what else we can get into. Mercedes-Benz Superdome and the reason we stopped here is because I have a really close personal friend who is a Saints fan so Brian if you're watching we hope football starts on time so you can watch your Saints right. and we hope they do well this year that's where the uh, that's where the Pelicans play basketball and then the Saints play football over here we can't go inside or take a tour or anything I'm surprised we're even allowed the parking lot we might not even really be allowed the parking we just lot <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway because um, we're on our on our driving tour of New Orleans. Well, you don't get any more socially distant than this. No. Um, we thought all the cemeteries in town were closed. Oh, this is St. Joseph. All the all the major ones are, um, but we found one St. Joseph Cemetery in number the one. number one down <laughs> in the Garden District that's open uh, still. So. We're gonna go explore. We like exploring cemeteries anyway. We've not been in one where everybody's above. No, New Orleans is very unique that way because yeah. all their stuff's above ground. And so, of floods. So this is new to us and so kind of cool. Yeah. And something to do because we had nothing else to do anyway. Yeah. We wanted to explore one of these regardless. Yes, this was on my list of But the ones do. we wanted to go to are not open. Yeah. So we'll settle for this one. Take what I can get. <laughs> yeah, let's go like, okay. <laughs> let's go check it out.
place is like a maze. Yeah. I mean, it in is. a normal get lost. in a normal cemetery, you can see all the whole cemetery. It, yeah. But here, you feel kind of trapped. Like it's a maze. Like it really is. Because everything's maze. so tall. The crypts are so tall. Yeah. I mean, they're got to be eight, nine feet tall, and you can't see past into the next row. Mm -mm. Yeah. So it makes it just super creepy. Yeah. Because you feel like you're closed in. Closed in. In very much closed in yeah yeah i can't imagine being out here like no. at night oh my god or like no. on a foggy no foggy morning no. Uh -uh. it'd just be so oh, creepy no. it's creepy and it's sunshine out and yeah. 80 degrees in the middle of the day yeah and it's creepy it's yeah It's got a whole family and you can see I mean it started back in 1897 all the way up till now 2016 so family members just keep getting buried in there. We're staying on a uh, joint naval base in, in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about this little trail walk where you can go and potentially see gators in the wild. And um, we were maybe expecting to see a, a, a couple little gators. Yeah. And uh, or maybe none. Or none. Yeah, our luck, none. <laughs> yeah. But we ran across this big fella already, and yeah. we're like, uh, not even a quarter mile into the walk. <laughs> this dude's huge. He lifted He's his head huge. up right now, back here. So we're gonna film him a little bit. And we'll see if we can catch any more gators or any other snakes or wildlife out here. Yeah. But we'll, uh, it's cool walks. So we'll we'll show you what we see. And they have they have oh big yeah the big snails yeah. here too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, just a shell, but yeah, but they were the like the, the other way. They were so like yeah, all cool. over the shoreline. Yeah, I don't know what. It's a lot of big snails. <laughs> so hopefully it's gonna be a, a pretty cool walk. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty cool little walk. Yeah, it's a nice trail. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get to go on a swamp tour, so this is kind of like our swamp tour. Uh, this is a DIY swamp tour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, um, we've already seen two big alligators, yeah. lots of turtles, really cranes, yeah. different kinds of birds. The turtles are like scaredy cats. They are. They're hard to get footage of because you have to either sit there and wait for them to come back out, or you have to really sneak up because once they sense that you're even close, they just... they're out. Plop in the water. They're scared. Down. They're gone. <laughs> but it's really cool to see. I think that's the first alligators I've ever seen in the wild. It's just wild, yeah. And we were looking forward to seeing that on a swamp tour. Yeah. But we've been to like gator lands and gator parks and, and zoos. Yeah, it's just not the same. So cool to see them yeah. in, in, in the wild just and, and big. Yeah, they were bigger than I thought they'd be. I was expecting, that, you know, like I said I earlier, I was expecting to eight, maybe but... see a couple alligators, yeah. maybe none, maybe just really small <laughs> ones. The two we saw were huge. We haven't seen any small ones, but we're heading back toward the truck. So yeah. maybe some more have come out. There's no telling how many are in here. Yeah. There's a little splash, so. They say there's a lot. That was a, that was a big splash. <laughs> and that even, was a fish or something. Even through 
housing area that the canals yeah. run, and so they say they're in the housing area too, which is crazy. Well, there's even signs in our RV park. There's a canal that runs right yeah. next to our RV park. It's pretty low water right now. So yeah. I bet when it's water's higher, they're it's probably out. Risky. And yeah. probably when it's hotter. It's about 80, 80 right now yeah. here, which is not super hot for New Orleans in the summertime. Yeah. I bet they're out more. Yeah. Um, Basket. So unfortunate that we didn't get to see as much of it, but at least we got to see some on our own. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a total loss. So we'll go back to the truck. <laughs> if we see anything cool along the way, we'll show it to you. Well, we had a good day in New Orleans despite the everything being closed. Yeah. <laughs> Like we got everything. Everything. <laughs> we got to drive around a little bit, and the the I want to say the city is pretty. It is like from a distance. Yeah, as you're driving by it through the highways and yeah, byways, and this, it looks like a very pretty. Yeah, and the city. skyline is pretty, but mm -hmm. when you get into it, I mean downtown's not bad, but when you get I mean anywhere outside of that, it's mm -hmm. pretty rough. Pretty rough area. Yeah. That we drove through. It's putting it nicely. Yeah. Rough. That's pretty rough. I don't <laughs> want to offend any New Orleanians. Yeah. Well, every place has its good and its bad spots. Yeah, it just seemed like New Orleans has a lot of bad spots. Well, More than we've seen yeah, in I other mean, cities. I mean, they're known for that too. Bourbon Street stinks. Yeah. Like, literally. It does stink. stink. Yeah. Everybody knows it's that. It's smelly. Mm -hmm. um, but we had a good time. We got, yeah. to, we got to at least see Bourbon Street. We got to see stuff down by the river. And we got to see the stadiums, yeah. the arenas, churches the, and cemeteries. Yeah, Jackson Square and mm -hmm. a bunch of cool stuff. We got to see um, Villa Lobos. Is it Villa Lobos? Yeah. We got to see Villa Lobos, which is From where the they, Yeah, which is where they do the uh, the show. Pitbulls uh, and Parolees. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's on A and E. Yeah. Might be on A and E. Anyway, Pitbulls and Parolees, where they rehab the Pitbulls and rehome them. We got to drive by there, but it was real hokey how to get to it yeah it was like a one way and the gps was telling us to go the wrong way down the one way yeah. and then we couldn't find another way around the, to it yeah, like so we got we, were, we we drove past it but just so fast and it was on my side so you weren't able to film it across me yeah. and it but it was stuck the backyard of it the gazebo where they take yeah. people out and introduce them to dogs so we got to see it but yeah. didn't get to share it mm -hmm. um the other cool thing is we next we, time yeah well, we'll have, we're, this is the, definitely a good reason to have to come back to New Orleans. Yeah, because we didn't get to experience Creole food. That was a big bummer, not being able to experience the food, because everybody's telling us, try the food, try the yeah. food, try this, try um, all kinds of different stuff. And, and I don't want to do it by takeout. No, yeah, you got to get the experience of being able to sit in there, have a drink, mm -hmm. enjoy the food, enjoy the, the music. atmosphere. And yeah. uh, so we'll come back and do yeah. that. But, um, but it was fun driving around and and you could definitely tell that there weren't as many people out <laughs> yeah which everywhere. was nice actually yeah. <laughs> but we did get to go to a cemetery which we didn't think we were going to be able to go yeah, to one i'm glad one was open and it's just it was really cool not that we'd like anybody to die but it, no. we find cemeteries interesting anyway and that was one of the things we really wanted to do while we were here and so we didn't get to go on any of the tours no. Of the of the, the, the cemeteries, which we were probably going to do. Yeah. We didn't get to go on a swamp tour. We didn't get to go uh, to the World War II Museum, which we wanted to do. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff in New Orleans that we had on the on, on the our list. list and we just didn't get to do any of it. They canceled mm. everything. And um, we are in the Naval uh, Air Station a Joint Reserve Base right now in New Orleans. And they told us that they are not extending any stays yeah. and um and not letting anybody yeah. put new reservations to come in so yeah. um, we're a few weeks ahead on youtube so you won't see this for a few weeks so we really don't know what the state of the country is going to be yeah. by the time this posts but like i said we're we're not going to be able to stay here past our time mm -mm. and we've already been told that the next place is not even honoring reservations yeah that they are going to be canceling here shortly yeah unfortunately four out of the next five of our stops were military posts and yeah, all the military posts <laughs> are closing and one of them was a state park the state park was still open as of when we're filming this but yeah. that could change too so we went ahead and made the decision to go ahead and just head up to uh, where Lauren's oh. at and hang out and so we booked that so we're even cutting this short we're not even staying our whole time because we want to make sure 
that we get onto that installation because that's a military base yeah. too. We want to get on there before they make any rash decisions and we don't get to go. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just go because that's the earliest they could get us in was on Saturday. Normally the uh, travel days are on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. But we're going to just roll and we're rolling straight through. Yeah. It's seven hours. And I know some of you are thinking seven hours, that's nothing. But to us, on our, our travel days are normally two to three hours. Lately they have been. Yeah. And then we stay a week. And actually, <laughs> we were not even going to experience... Uh, no, the next two were only like yeah. an hour and a half. We were going from New Orleans <laughs> to Gulfport and then Gulfport to Mobile and then yeah. Mobile over to Fort Walton Beach. We didn't have long travel days mm. and we had weeks at a time. In Fort yeah. Walton Beach we were going to be two, two weeks. weeks. And the other bad thing is we were going to meet up with a couple of YouTubers and yeah. YouTube channels and um, yeah, fellow travelers and we're not going to get to do that now. No. So we're really bummed about that. We were. Uh, we were planning on putting out some content with them, yeah. doing some collaborations, maybe we can go on live with them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not gonna happen now. And we're gonna be uh, back home for an extended stay. Yeah. And um, we, were, we were planning to be there end of April, beginning of May anyway. My that was the time April. frame that we were gonna, yeah, I'm leaving out of there at the beginning of May yeah. to, ch to head up to Chattanooga. Um, so we haven't changed that yet. We're still hoping that we can leave there early May yeah. and head up to Chattanooga and keep those plans because we're meeting up with some friends in yeah, Chattanooga. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't mess that up. Um, if it does impact that, then we may start thinking about rethinking our whole route north to New York north, yeah. uh, and just kind of figuring out what do we want to do now? <laughs> uh, do we want to go all the way up there? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. If, you, if you've been watching our weekly updates, you probably have heard all this because we're going to talk about it again on our weekly updates. But um, it's a bummer, man. And it, is. Uh, it sucks. Sucking the fun out. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, by the time this video posts, it won't even be a thing anymore. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully, it'll be dying yeah. down and everything's. I wouldn't get you back hooked to, up. Back to normal. But either way. It's wishful thinking. I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> We hope that you're doing fine wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. If you were forced to end your travels, that really stinks too. Yeah. Uh, leave us a comment and let us know how this whole deal has impacted you and your travels and or your family or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't even wipe your butt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we can. Can't even wipe your butt anymore. It's crazy. I'll share with you. Okay. <laughs> well, I have a square to spare. <laughs> <laughs> is that it from New Orleans? Yeah. That's it from New Unfortunately, Orleans. Unfortunately, that's it. <laughs> that is it from New Orleans, but it will not be the last time we're in New Orleans. Yeah. We will definitely be back and we will take you along to see all the cool stuff once mm -hmm. it opens back up. Yes. I don't know when that's going to be, but we'll make it happen. Yeah. We appreciate you watching. We are going to honor a fallen hero like we do at the end of all of our videos. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.